Hi, this is Anjanette. Um, I want to show you how I use my immersion blender, and I'm going to do that by demonstrating the uh, soup that is blue. It's broccoli um, and potato soup. We call it cream and broccoli soup because it gets really creamy, um, but there's no dairy in it, and you could even make it vegetarian. We have chicken stock in ours. So I'm going to show you real fast what it looks like. Um, there's my broccoli and broth and potatoes all um, cooked. It took me about 45 minutes exactly to get them as soft as I want them to. I sometimes let it go and I forget because it's just not that important. As long as it's soft, it's hard to overcook unless you run out of stock. So um, here's my immersion blender. Can you see that? Yay, that I was writing about. And um, I am going to go ahead and explain the process here and um, the kids will probably be screaming in the background. Go back to your room, guys. Um, so mine has just this one button up here and then also a button on the back to disengage the bottom from the top that I talked about is really great for cleaning. So all I do, and I may have to put the camera down for a second to show you, but all I do is I start blending. Um, it'll be loud when I start. I start blending and then I kind of tilt the pot to make sure that everything gets in. You can see that it has those um, openings there to make sure that that is below the water um, or the soup where it's going to splash everywhere. So here it goes. Just a note before I start tilting it, you can tell my soup's still really hot. You can do this with any temperature of, of anything. It doesn't make any difference. You can see that my pot's pretty shallow. I'm not um, not using much of the pot, so I have to tilt it a little bit to get it all. Um, but you can tell that it's pretty much all taken care of. I, I feel a couple little things in here. I'm gonna set it down and get it. But you can see how thick and creamy that's getting. It's green. Kids will love that. Obviously, you could do um, bean and potato or cheese and potato, and you would have white creamy soup, and they would just if the green bothers them. But um, we. We like green food, so I'm going to set it down and I'm going to blend uh, the rest of it real fast. So that's it. That's all that it took. It was super easy. It's nice and creamy. Um, it smells wonderful. And I will taste it, and then I might put some salt and pepper. But other than that, I'm done. And I just go ahead and take this right off so that I can get it out of the way over here where it's plugged in. And then I will, uh, when I have two hands, take this over to the sink, rinse it off, and um, I, I put it straight into the dishwasher. Actually, I'll just show you because I can do that right now. A little towel here. Sorry, the sink's already <laughs> full of yucky dishes, but see you, lovey. That uh, was my crock pot, actually, that I used to make my chicken stock with. And there it is, and that's where it'll be, and it'll wash, and it washes up great. Um, I do have to um, dump it out in the sink a little bit to make sure the water's out. But that's it. There's my soup. Hope that that helped, and um, if you have any other questions, write them in the comments, and I'd be happy to reply.